Well, hey guys, it's Tom here. Welcome back. So it's a nice May day. It's uh, basically about a week since the work weekend. If you guys saw that video, we got a lot done. I appreciate all the guys that came out and a big thanks to the companies that uh, donated the products that helped clean the place up and we had a good time. So I figured I'll just do another vlog kind of style video. I'll just get snippets here and there as the progress goes and then once I got enough snippets we'll uh, you know have a video to watch. So that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, as you can see I just left the hardware store. I got some lumber so I am going to frame out that back wall in the office and go inside real quick and Mr. Chaos say hello, hello YouTube he's down here he's happy to be here today but uh, got the whole office painted as you guys can see looks way better uh, let's see here I used you guys can see this in the light I use this stuff this is from one of our local big box stores semi gloss interior but it's a high hide white so that worked good to go over the kills so she looks good but this is the back wall that i told you about originally i just had a white let me step back here so the echo is not that bad uh tarp and it worked fine but the problem is you know i lose a wall to be able to put shelves on and to be able to hang posters and whatnot so i'm going to go ahead and frame that in that way it'll give me a lot more room and got the old carpet up I'll put another piece of uh, outdoor carpet down and uh, she'll be looking like a good usable office so pleased about that hey you guys have you ever gone to your local trash dump and come home with goodies <laughs> so that's what happened today I made a run took the trash and some more burned stuff from the shop and I came back with these check these out so I was like sweet so uh, yeah somebody threw away this nice heavy-duty service cart I mean three shelves you can see it's got a uh, drain hole in the middle and it's got a tag right there on the side I don't know if you can see it right there in the middle so this is not shop made. This is a commercial grade heavy duty three shelf cart. So that's a pretty sweet score. I can just keep it outside or I could even put it inside and you know use it or take the wheels off and make it a heavy duty you know, three metal shelf. So not sure, but that was a pretty good score. And then I got a nice, uh, I don't know, we got 30 gallon maybe uh, steel drum with the lid and the retaining locking ring on it. So. That'll be perfect for storage, you know, long metal stock or something. So, pretty happy to get these, you know, come home with some goodies. Kind of uh, justified spending the gas. <laughs> a little windy out here. Hopefully it won't mess up the audio. So I had the contractor dropped off the steel to repair the buildings. With uh, current rate of inflation, you're looking at $5,000 worth of tin there. Ouch. But uh, got 40 sheets, uh, three feet wide, 20 foot long of galvalum. That's gonna go up on the ceiling. We're gonna replace the ceiling totally, or should I say roof. And obviously this stuff here is for the sides to replace all that. And it's damaged. We're gonna replace all this wall. And we're coming around all the way over to, uh, you know, over here and get this part fixed, so. It is Saturday. He's supposed to pick the insulation up on Monday and hopefully they can start maybe Tuesday or so. It just depends on the weather. They're supposed to uh, have scattered showers throughout the week. So we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. But uh, hopefully, yeah, we can get to start repairing this building. And as you saw, of course, my uh, garage doors got pushed back again. Man, it's, they're killing me. I don't know why. You know, so hard to get some decent doors. They're just standard 12 by 12s. I mean, they're high quality doors that I ordered, but still, I don't know. They're waiting on some parts or something. So 
I won't have new doors next week. I'm not sure when. You know, they're uh, you're still waiting to receive the stuff so they can install it. So it's not their fault. It's the factory that's making it. But you know, I ordered them back in February, and here it's the first week of May. So we're what? 10, 11 weeks out. So man, I'm ready just to get moving forward. So let me show you the office just got wrapped up. Let me stand out here so the echo is not bad. Back wall is done. Got some shelves up there. Couple shelves here where the you know window was. All painted. She looks uh, good as new. It was supposed to rain today, so I didn't go get the indoor outdoor carpet. And of course it's been sunny and no rain. So the weather forecasters missed that by a mile. I'll uh, make a run tomorrow, get that carpet, get it down, and I can start uh, getting stuff back in the office. So excited to really make some progress here. You know, that helps out, uh, you know, mentally that uh, I can just check this off the list. <clears throat> so a little update, guys, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Hey, 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 check it out. Ta -da! We finally have insulation. Goodness gracious. So, those big rolls are six inch, and there's for the ceiling, and there's four inch back there. I don't know if you can see it. So, sweet. It is Monday. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So, the guys are tentatively planning to start working on wednesday i think wednesday and thursday are going to be nice and they're calling for scattered showers again on uh, friday and saturday so we may actually get started this week unfortunately talked to the uh garage door people and that's got pushed back again for some reason the rest of uh my door stuff was not on friday's truck so they're not installing this week she's trying to figure out what's going on maybe next week if they can get it shipped from the manufacturer just don't know so uh, you know still in a sad state of affairs I know they can't do anything about it but it's real frustrating being that we ordered this in February and now it is the uh, about the middle of May so good gosh I'm ready to move forward but I'm glad to have the insulation and of course you saw that we got the sheeting and mr. coppers checking everything out and, and chaos is waiting for me to throw <laughs> his uh, dumbbell of course so I figured give you an update and uh, I guess the next video clip will be uh, the guys working hopefully so stay tuned well I should save this for uh, upcoming mail call but seeing that it's gonna be a good while before I have another mail call I figure I'd give you guys a, uh, a sneak peek oh, at a uh, new piece of I guess you call it equipment for the shop Tickled to finally have it, so I'll give you guys a uh, a quick sneak peek. You know, you get three guesses, first two don't count. So, ready? Don't blink. Well, there it is. Pretty awesome, wasn't it? So the uh, big unveiling will come on the uh, mail call, but I just you know, figured I'd give you guys a teaser. guys as you just saw on that uh, first clip there repairs have started finally on the shop building so almost four months to the day uh, finally getting the work done it's been uh, tough finding a contractor the good ones are all booked up and of course you know trying to get materials has been tough too we've been waiting on the six inch insulation Apparently it's not a common size, so uh, it took a couple weeks so we can finally get it. So uh, let me take you around. Hopefully you can see. So we started on this corner. Looks a lot better when you got uh, fresh new insulation and some fresh tin out there. Give you a look from the outside. The guys had a radio blaring 
So I didn't take any video because obviously, you know, you know, YouTube doesn't like that background music. It'd be a copyright strike. And two, I was giving them a hand. So I was in the forklift, lifting them up and down so they could get the sheeting up, get the insulation up, and just, you know, keeping them working. So I uh, apologize that there's no really action footage. I'll just kind of have to do updates like this until they get to maybe the roof or something. And then I can hopefully get some shots of them working, but I don't know how much you're going to be able to see because I'll be on the ground and they'll be on the roof. But uh, so this is as far as we got, basically this side. And then we just put the old panel back on and we did this makeshift stuff here because uh, expecting rain, it is Saturday, expecting more rain tomorrow and hopefully the front will clear out sometime on Monday. So hopefully they can get back to work on Monday. So fingers crossed, if they do, I'll get some video. But uh, it's exciting that we're finally getting the shop fixed up. And uh, for all you gearheads, figured you'd appreciate this. <laughs> yeah, they brought their old uh, truck out. So it's a, I think mid 70s Chevy 350 engine turbo 400 transmission. It's an automatic, but it is a, a 30, so it's a one ton truck. So we got dually rear wheels, you know full floater and then it's got the big old uh, corporate 14 bolt in the rear if you can see it and a 12 foot flatbed so trying to talk them out of it because this would be a perfect shop truck for me you know fix it up a little bit be good for making runs especially a 12 foot bed but uh, i don't know if they're gonna let go of it so but i figure you guys would appreciate the old truck if you guys like this stuff like i do so anyways, that's going to be a, a good place probably to end this video. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out with me. And we'll have more shop updates as they come. And uh, Mr. Chaos says, come on, Daddy, hurry up and throw my, throw my football. So there you go, buddy.